What's up everyone? My name is Christine and I am a physical therapist who recently decided to start travel physical therapy. Now if you're wondering what travel therapy is, I made a video on this already which I will link above. Otherwise, this video is going to talk about just some of my thoughts and preparations as I prepare to go into my first travel contract. So my first contract is 12 days away. It is in Massachusetts and I am in the state of Florida. So yeah, I will be going up to Massachusetts from Florida. I am driving up there and I am getting prepared for it. Now my first contract is actually in an outpatient setting. All of my work experience has been in an inpatient setting. Obviously, when I was in school, I had outpatient clinicals. I learned how to work an outpatient, but from a professional standpoint, since I graduated five years ago, I have not worked an outpatient. So this is going to be a big change for me. A lot of changes. It's going to be a, a change of scenery, a change of weather, a change of clinic, a change of setting. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of changes for me. It is both really exciting and really scary. I am really looking forward to going back to outpatient to refresh my skills in outpatient, just keep my brain active and having to go into a different mindset and just renew some of the things that I may have lost a little bit of touch since I graduated school. A few of the things that I'm so excited about going into outpatient from somebody coming from an inpatient perspective is for the first time in my career, I don't have to work weekends and I don't have to work any of these winter holidays coming up. So that is really exciting. I'm excited. I am so excited. I think I have a pretty good facility that I'm going to be working at. I'm not going to say what the name of the clinic is and I'm not going to say what city it's in. I'm also really excited to get out of Florida. I am somebody who does not like the heat. It's the end of October and it is still really, really hot here. That has been one of the biggest reasons that I have wanted to get out of the state of Florida is I just don't tolerate the heat well. I want to be outside more and I might be making one of the worst decisions ever by going up to Massachusetts as the winter is starting, but I'm going to really see what an actual winter is like and yeah, preparing for that. It has been a challenge. It's been a whole new experience. I just bought my first actual winter coat. I've had to buy a lot of things to prepare for moving up north. And I imagine there's a lot of things that I'm just going to discover as I go when I'm up there because, well, I don't know winter. I've lived in Florida my whole life. This is going to be the longest period I have been out of Florida in one given time in my life. It is a 16 week contract. So I'm not going to be back here for over four months. Um, if you include the the time it takes for me to drive up there and takes for me to come back down. I am, as of right now, I am planning to come back to Florida after the end of this contract, but that's right now. Plans can change, so yeah, who knows what will happen. I am getting excited about seeing snow and experiencing winter, and I mean in two months I'm probably going to make a video that Maybe it wasn't as exciting as I thought it could be and I might not be enjoying it as much as I thought I would. Like with any new job, especially in healthcare, the whole onboarding thing is a lot of work with the, the drug screen and the physical and the blood work and all these papers and forms and stuff that you have to fill out. It's been a lot of work and it's given me a lot of anxiety to get it all straightened out and then the anxiety of finding housing and just overall as excited as I am for this change and for this move, I am also like really scared. I've had a lot of anxiety going into this first contract and sometimes I am thinking like, am I making a huge mistake doing this? Is this 
the right move for me? Should I be doing this? But the thing that I keep telling myself is if you don't do things that scare you, you do not grow as a person. So I mentioned this in my video as to why I chose travel therapy is that I am somebody who does not like change that well. I struggle with change. It gives me anxiety. And one of the reasons why I force myself into travel is travel therapy results in a lot of changes. And the only way I'm going to get past this anxiety and grow as a person is to force myself to experience these things and know that I can get out on the other side, that I will be able to handle whatever it is that comes along my way. I am gonna drive up there starting next week. I'm gonna take a few days. I thankfully have family that's kind of like nicely placed on my route to where I have to go to get up to Massachusetts, but preparing there, there are things that I have to handle while I'm still here in Florida. And one of them being I'm getting my car inspected to make sure that it is okay for the ride and I don't want to end up like broken down somewhere in like South Carolina or something where I don't know anybody. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this change. I'm excited. I'm excited for a change of scenery. I am also really sad leaving my family behind. I said goodbye to my nieces last night and I hate the fact that I'm going to be away from them. That's like one of the worst things ever about moving is you have to leave your family behind and it's, it's hard. Like as much as you want to do something, it is still really sad to leave behind the people that you love, but I know that it's not forever. I will see them again. So yeah, I'm just, I'm such a mix of emotions right now with this change. Excited, scared, anxious, sad, but it's all, it's going to be good. And at the end of the day, I really think it's just going to be an excellent life experience for me and something that I will be able to talk about and record and look back on these videos and see where I came from and who I become at the end of it. So yeah, that's all I really have to say. I'm getting out of the heat box of Florida and I am heading up to the ice box of Massachusetts. I got Roscoe a winter coat. I still need to find shoes for him. I'm having a hard time finding shoes his size, but I am on the hunt for it because he is my baby and I want to make sure he's okay more so than me in dealing with the cold. And yeah, it's going to be a fun experience. Anyways, that is it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!